Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at establishing communication to the XL4 all-in-one controller by Horner. And we're going to be doing that by three different methods. Now you can communicate to these uh, controllers by um, Ethernet or serial. And by serial we can use RS-232, RS-485, we can also use USB, we can also use CAN uh, bus system. So what we're going to do is we're going to use three methods. We're, we're going to be using the Ethernet method, we'll be using the RS-232, and we will be using the um, uh, USB uh, and it's a mini B connection. So the first thing we need to do is we will actually plug in, um, you'll see here on the left hand side of my screen, there's my uh, mini B connector. I'll plug that in and once we have that plugged in we will uh, uh, now plug in the USB connector. Now once the USB connector is uh, plugged in, the drivers are already installed with the uh, uh, Seascape software. So what we'll notice when we look at our COM ports here, this is the COM port number 9 here that we're now controlling with that USB uh, cable. Next what we'll do is take a look at our RS-232. Our RS-232 is on the right hand side and it's just a, uh, a jack and this cable is actually from Horner and it breaks it out into a, a DB9. This is the DB9 connector um, and most computers nowadays don't, don't, don't have a US or a 9 pin serial uh, cable anymore. So what you have to do is you have to use a um, USB to serial converter. This particular model I have in front of me is a Ugreen. So it works. Um, I've tested it right up to Windows 10 and it seems to work fine. So what we do is we um, plug our USB there, then we will plug our USB cable into our computer. And once again it will come up and in this particular case it will come up as prolific USB serial com uh, port number 8. So now we have the two, two methods and the third method is actually our um, Ethernet and our Ethernet connects just right to the side here right in the LAN 1 connection. So again LAN 1 our RS-232 and on this side we have our USB micro B connector. So once we have that set, the other thing we need to do with our um, Ethernet is actually set the IP address and mask address. So if we hit the system menu and then we go into the set networks, which is the default that comes up. And if we scroll down, there's my IP address and my uh, net mask address. So in this case, I've already set it. If we need to set it again, we can just hit enter and then we can actually scroll and use the keyboard here to actually set it. So in my particular case, I have an IP address of 192.168.1.131 and the net mask is 255.255.255.0. And remember that this has to match on both ends in order for us to communicate. So we have that set, so that's great. Now we'll look over on our software. So let's minimize that. And over here in my software, if I look under uh, controller and hardware configuration, the first thing I do is I set up which series I have and what model number. Then I'm under my, under my LAN, I hit configure. And in here, I would actually write in the same values I had previously so I can communicate to this controller. 
So that was one, 192, 168, 1131. I'll just hit OK. So now I'm all set to communicate to my controller. Now when you first call up the software, it will automatically come up with a controller wizard. If it doesn't, then you hit controller or connection wizard and then hit connection wizard. It pops up with this screen here. Now the preferred method is actually USB. So if I hit next and you'll see that here's my list of USB connector which is my COM9, which we installed before. If I wasn't sure, I can just hit that I don't know. It will actually detect what's on available and call up which one. So once I'm done that, I hit can, uh, finish. And what'll happen is you'll notice that my screen is now changed. Down here in my status, I have my USB COM9 and my model number and my local target and my set target. And to set these targets, you just hit the node, and it's in our case, it's 253. You'll also notice these screens have now all changed, or the icons up here. They are now available. Here's my upload, download, my run modes for my PLC, and then my target mode selection ID. And that target mode selection ID is the same one if we call up the system menu and set networks. That... Uh, this CAN ID is 253. Okay, so now um, that was the USB. So if we go back to controller, actually what we can do is we can de disconnect by using disconnect um, button here. And we'll go controller, connection wizard again. We'll now enter serial. And we'll hit next. And COM port, if I hit it, I don't know. Again, it detects that it's COM port number nine. We'll hit finish. And now on the bottom, we have COM nine. And now we have all the other parameters the same. So here, if I look under controller, we can go to status. And you can actually see the status. It's running the scan time, the uh, um, a lot of the different parameters within that unit. So let's close that, or stop that, and we'll go back once again to our connection wizard. We will now select our Ethernet option. Hit next, and there's our Ethernet uh, communication settings. And now we'll hit finish. And what we'll do is, what it does is go over to network. It'll try to find that um, unit and it will actually then start communicating. And when it does so, it actually changes a few of the icons. Um, there we go. So, try that once again. There we are. And now we see our ethernet connection down here. Our, with our IP address and again the target nodes and you'll notice the screen actually is a little different the icons the one word connect disconnect is no longer valid because your Ethernet is connected all the time right. so now that we've established communication next time what we'll do is take a look at all the addressing and the local IO on this uh, XL4 controller so if this video has been helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up on it and keep up to date with all the videos by subscribing to our channel. You'll notice that there's an icon at the end of this video that you can hit to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you go over to our website, all the information that you just heard about right now is on our website and with a little more uh, detail. And you can subscribe to our website and by doing so, you will be informed when all new videos or information is posted to the website. You'll also be given a couple of free links um, for some information. The first one is like an ebook for understanding PLC numbering systems, and another one for robust data logging for free. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.